Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season 5, episode 14 of The Flash called Calls in XS. Start off with Cisco has a cure, but um, he realized something when he invited over. You have to wait a month or 29 days. And then uh, Will suggests to use the speed force to get the tachyons to speed it up and that'll take 60 minutes. So Barry is going in and Barry leaves um, Nora in charge. Then Ralph gets Cisco the book of Ralph. <laughs> and basically he cyberstalked the date he's going on. And then we cut to where Cicada takes Iris. Then uh, Cisco dresses up for a date like um, the business type. And it's not going well at all. And then he gets the alert on his phone and asks to bail. Then, um, so they get there, and we, and he launches his, uh, dagger, and Cicada hit Caitlyn. And then, sh then Nora goes back in time on accident, and com so then he goes back to the day before everything happened. So she's doing Groundhog Day all over again. <laughs> And so Nora convinces Iris to stay at Star Labs, and so she does. So Ralph gets taken by Cicada. And then Cisco dresses sporty for the date and gives off the gym vibe, and she ain't having it. And basically, Cicada gets the same speech with Ralph. Then Cisco um, vibe the woman gossiping like the men this town. And then um, he has to leave and got alert for Ralph. Then Ralph got hit when he when Nora blocked Caitlyn. Then Nora goes back again, and then we have Nora spazzing at everything, but she tries to handle everything. But um, Cisco vibed the last encounter, and he got hit, so she gets back in time. Then Will's got taken by Cicada, and so now. So when he goes, she goes back in time again, and Cisco's now an Instagram person where, um, and he vibed again. So Nora goes alone, and basically, uh, Nora goes alone, and Cisco took the dagger, so she goes back again, tells them to stay, they don't want to, then Cisco vibes again, then Cicada finds uh, picture and get Cecile and Cecile got taken and it is raining really loud. I don't know if you can hear that right now. And then so um, then Cecile went bye bye and then Nora goes back too many times and then goes she tries to go to the speed force and that's a fail and now Iris knows when she goes back for the umpteenth time. So Nora comes clean and she's done it 52 times and failed every single time. So Cisco talks to Nora and about like how he ha he's been vibing all the stuff and he actually died in the alternate timeline from season one. So they come up with a plan because she wrote down everything that he she did the other 52 times to in order to work out this one. And it is really coming down. Oh my goodness. And so, um, they come with a plan, it's our space of Cicada, and basically they reversed everything. So basically, um, Cisco died twice. So, when he sends off the dagger, the way I understand it is, he, she goes through the vibing thing, and then she goes, time reverses itself, and then she pushes hit Cicada in front, and he stabs himself. Yeah. And so then he escapes, and then when Cisco goes on the date, and this one he's finally going by himself. I mean, he's going to he's going to be himself around her. And then Barry is back, and then Cisco's on on the date, and it's going very well. Then Barry talks to Nora and warns her about the tampering, and basically said that, listen, like. It doesn't matter how far back you go, there's still going to be consequences on what you do. And to give an example of the cup, every time you try to pair the timeline, 
you try to fix it, but there's still a crack in there, so it's not going to be completely right ever again. So, uh, then we cut to where Will's finally cracked Nora's code, and now he's getting all the information from it. Then in 2049, uh, Thawne says to destroy the dagger and gets kind of violent about it and like upset about it. Because Nora asks, are we doing the right thing? And he kind of gets a little postal. So, yeah. Um, honestly, I get this one. Um, I'll get this a B plus. It was just like Groundhog Day all over and over and over. And I feel like we've done that so many times on the show. And I was like, I just wasn't really feeling it for some reason. I don't know why, I just wasn't. But anyway, um, I thought it was a decent episode. It wasn't like horrible or anything. It just wasn't my vibe. <laughs> oh, snap. But um, I do like how they have comedic moments in there. I like how Nora's still learning and she's still evolving to have more character development. And she's starting to doubt Fawn. And, you know, I was trying to, you know, deal with everything. But anyway, that's one of this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Just tell me your thoughts down below. I'm going to be testing out this new computer soon. <laughs> and I hope you all have a super awesome day whenever you watch this. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.